He's been thrown into some big games as a freshman, not any bigger than this one, though. Five earned, uh, pardon me, five home runs allowed. Time. Rowdy Jordan sends a scorcher to the right side. Ethan Paul knocks it down, but can't do anything with it. And Mississippi State has a runner on with one out. And again, Jordan moving with the pitch. It's high. The throw through doesn't matter. It's ball four. And he's turning into a folk hero. Sends this one deep to right field. This will push Blade back to the track, to the wall. Caught. Base hit for Steven Scott. He has wore out the middle of the field in the Super Regional. Steven Scott, it feels like every time he hits one on the button, it's right back up the middle. Up the middle. That one gets through. Scott on his way to third. He'll get there with no throw, and Bandy's got runners on the corners with one down. Error-free ball for both sides last night. Chased it out of the strike zone, and Kaiser goes down swinging. Runner on the move, pitch is low. There's ball four, and the bases are loaded. Chased it anyway. Strike three. This one, no doubt. Three strikeouts in the first. Bandy. Leaves the bases loaded. Pulled to the left side and threw on a line drive. Westberg is up. Or pardon me, Westberg is on and Jake Mangum coming up. To the right side, through. Westberg on his way to third. Lede's throw cut off by Kaiser. And Mississippi State has runners at first and third with nobody out. Lifted into center field. Austin Martin is there, waiting to tag his Westberg. Catch made. Here comes Westberg, and Mississippi State is on the board for the first time. And that's ball four. It is walk number three for Mason Hickman. Pulled to the left side, gets through. Mangum around third. DeMarco comes up throwing. It's cut off. And a head first dive for Mangum extends Mississippi State's lead. And a Blinn Junior College in Texas. Too short. Kaiser to Paul on to first. In time. McNamee goes sprawling, but Mississippi State adds to its lead on a Hunter Stovall single. Scott and Blade are the others. Here's Steven Scott now. And he lifts this one to left field, but Rowdy Jordan drifting back. That carries all the way out of the ballpark. Steven Scott goes yard, an oppo blast, and Vanderbilt's on the board. You got a post-game playlist. I get him. Good bit. And that'll put Ray aboard. Just a suggestion. There it goes. Pitch is low. The throw down is a little bit wide and late. And Harrison Ray has his fifth stolen base in six attempts this year. That one kicked off of the catcher, Scout and Paul headed to first. He'll get there easily, and Vanderbilt gets a runner aboard on a strikeout wild pitch. The one-two to Infante. Runner on the move from first. This one's belted deep to left field. Jordan settles underneath it, tagging his Ray, and he will score to tie the game. Runner goes, pitches inside, throw to second is high, and a stolen base. For Ethan Paul. 2-0 to Martin. Up the middle, throw. Around third, Paul. And Vanderbilt has its first lead of the night on an RBI single from Austin Martin. Runner goes, throw is high, and sails into center field. Martin takes third, and Vandy running at will tonight. They now have 100, 100 stolen bases on the season. Ball four. That was pretty good. Runner goes again. Pitch is high. No throw, as you suggested. And he looks at ball four. Chase it upstairs. Gordon. Strikes out Connor Kaiser and Vandy leaves the bases loaded. Hit a Clifton. That 
Allen gets to the backstop. It's ball four, but it looks a lot uglier than just ball four. I would go get him right now. Mississippi State, one for six with runners in scoring position tonight. Alexander's bunt is out in front of the plate. Who wants it? Finally, Scott pounces on it, and the sacrifice advances McNamee to third. That one gets through the wickets. Here comes McNamee. Mississippi State has tied it. Big strikeout. Best pitch he made all night. Smeared across the helmet. To short. Kaiser handles the hop. What did you expect? We are tied. Paul takes it and gets to the backstop. It's a four pitch walk. The payoff to Martin. High. Two walks in this inning. Left handers are hitting 0 71 against Self this season. To the right side. That is a fair ball picked up by Allen. Two down. They also reached the Women's College World Series, falling in the finals. The payoff again to Kaiser. To the left side. Late jump off the third. And out. On runner's interference, they did not give Foscue a chance to field the ball. Tim Corbin will come in and argue. It was an immediate call by Tony Norris. Ball four just low. Lead off man on. Vandy has four stolen bases against him. Gets the butt down to first. Infante will put the tag on in a tackle. Through the left side. Alexander was headed back to second. Now he'll be stopped at third. Did not get a good read on the line drive from Westburg. And Mississippi State, instead of taking the lead, has runners at first and third. Slices one to right field. It's down. Mississippi State has the lead. Westburg around third. They're going to throw on the brakes. And Mangum comes through in the clutch for State. What did you expect? Roddy Jordan has two hits tonight, trying to extend the Mississippi State lead. To right, Blade, two down. Mangum will draw the throw, and that's going to get a run home as Mississippi State steals one. That one gets by Scott. Here comes Mangum. Of course he scores. Chandler Day did all he could. The payoff. Strike three called. 6-3 lead for Mississippi State as we go to the bottom of the ninth. They do up for Vanderbilt. And the first pitch is roped towards right. McNamee didn't get a great jump, but he got there in time. One down. And a junior leader in center field has turned down both the Yankees and the Mets. Well hit. Deep left field. Jordan back. It is gone. The drama continues. Solo home run. Pat DeMarco. Don't go to bed just yet. The 0-2 from Self. Up the middle. Off the glove of Luke Alexander. And Vandy will bring the tying run to the plate in the bottom of the ninth. For Ethan Paul right now, you're looking for a cutter inner half. Got it. And he corks it deep right field. McNamee runs out of room. We are tied. in the Music City. This one's lined into the corner. McNamee got it! 
What a catch made. Pay off to Martin. Missed low and away. Chased it. Mississippi State blows a three-run lead in the ninth inning. Peaks and valleys for both sides. Pace hit up the middle. Stovall's second knock. That one poked through the right side. Stovall will stop at second. Runners move. Ground ball left side. Snared by Ray. What a play. And the stretch is there from the center fielder turned first baseman. And he sends it to right center field. Long run Mangum and McNamee. This ball is off the base of the wall. Kaiser on his way to second. It's a one out double. Wind blowing in from center. The 0-2. Got him swinging. Three pitches to take care of Ray. Wow. McQuarrie does his job. Ball four inside. Reached for over at first. Martin wow. with the scoop. The dive. He didn't get there. And Mississippi State has runners at first and third with one out. Pulled down the right field line. Mississippi State will take the lead again. Hatcher has scored. Jordan to third. Deep in the corner to dig it out. Finally, a run scoring double for Tanner Allen. Pick two guys in this lineup you don't want to face. I think Mangum's first, but McNamee's probably second. Strike three called. Takes ball four to force in an insurance run. Jordan scores, and it's eight to six. Two run lead for Mississippi State. And Alexander sends a flare to shallow right field that will drop behind Martin. Two runs have scored. Mississippi State extends their advantage on a flare over Austin Martin's head. Left side, Ray. And that'll end the 11th. And the Chanticleers won it all. Leadoff walk to Ethan Paul. Breaking ball pulled to the right side. Allen gloves it, turns to the back, has a tag, and Mississippi State will dog pile. The Bulldogs are going back to the College World Series.